What's up, YouTube? Kansi Gamer here, and today we are playing more Final Fantasy. So, you may notice that I'm over in Matoya's cave. That's because, so, I looked through the walkthrough, right? And apparently, after I give Matoya the crystal eye, I'm gonna have to go all the way back to Elfheim anyways. Like, literally, like, right after... Which I think is such a great idea, right? This is, it's so epic. It's so cool that I have to do that. But I'm going to speedrun this real quick. Speedrun reading this. Uh, wait, what? Oh my god, they're going to make me come back to fucking Cornelia to get some extra stuff. Because apparently Cornelia's got some secret chests. Alright, I mean, I'm fine with that. Whatever, but... Uh... Yes! Wait, oh, I just responded. I didn't even think about reading it. Is that my crystal eye? Give it to me! Here, I'll give you the most wondrous potion from my collection. It's amazing that my voice is slightly getting higher and changing as the time goes on. Ah, now I can see everything, including your soul. Just rips it from my body, like, ah! <laughs> Just dies instantly. Now get out of here. I have nothing else for you. Damn, be that way. All right, cool. I guess we're on our journey, guys. Oh, Ian leveled up, by the way. I, f I fought some dudes on the way over here, of course, and Ian leveled up because of it, so... Ian is now around about where he needs to be with the rest of us, all at, like, level 8, I think. What level are we at? Oh, damn, I was right, level 8. Except for me and... Well, me and Ian are at 9, because we're OP, so we gotta be the most powerful characters. I, you know, only gotta max out that strength, bro. Gotta, gotta dump all 85 points in the strength. <laughs> That's a fun joke for the people who watch that garbage Elden Ring series I make. <laughs> My 85 strength and like 14 vitality or some shit. It's like the worst possible build. My build is actually bad. But, yeah, I'm not gonna worry. I, I might invest in health a little bit in the downtime, but you never know. Ba -ba -da. See, I wanna start cutting some of these miscellaneous fights out, but I feel like. As long as I keep, like, the gameplay in the video interesting, you know, and, and, like, just continue to not shut up, then, like, I won't have to worry about cutting anything out, and, you know, because I do like this style of, like, unedited videos, not because it's lazy or whatever, but just because of, with an unedited video, it makes things easier, you know? But speaking of unedited videos, that actually reminds me. Did I edit the last video I uploaded? Ah, uh, I'm gonna quickly check in the background because I'm actually not sure I did. <laughs> now that I'm thinking about it, I know I didn't edit like my countdown, my like three, two, one. I know I didn't edit that out of the beginning of the video, but I don't, there was a section of the video that I paused because I had to do stuff, like, in the background or whatever, and, like, I wasn't, I don't remember if I paused the recording or not. So there may be, like, ten minutes of silence within that video, like, from me anyway. Maybe. Oh, no, wait, no, oh, I'm stupid. No, I'm thinking of the wrong video. Never mind. I I'm thinking of the episode of Elden Ring that's coming out next. The one that basically states that I'm bored of Elden Ring. I mean, I'm not... I'm bored of the game, but at the same time, it's like... I'm... I, I have gotten confirmation since that video was made that I literally am on, like, the third to last boss. But, oh my god, it is just... The slog of trying to power through that is just not something I want to be a part of, but I know it has to happen for me to beat the game. 
and that's what makes it so much more painful. But it's fine. Like, who knows? Maybe by the time I finish the game, the DLC, the DLC would have dropped, and I can just buy that and just immediately do that so we can get more Elden Ring content. Would you guys watch the DLC, to be honest? Like, I don't even know if you would. I still have yet to play the Doom Eternal DLCs. The um, Ancient Gods Part 1 and 2. I don't know if I'll do this for videos or not. That'd be entirely up to you guys, too. So, like... You know, I, I leave a pretty good amount of my content up to you guys when when I think about it. Of just, uh, like, what stuff you guys want to see, you know. Also, I did a stupid... I meant to go to the castle, not the town. <laughs> I don't know why I went to the town. I think I just figured that the town would be connected, even though it's not at all. Okay, so, the jolt... To I didn't even press the button, bro. Okay, so the Jolt Tonic we have is the thing that wakes the prince. The Jolt Tonic! I don't remember if I gave this guy a voice. This will surely awaken the prince. We must try it at once. Your Highness! Oh, it seemed as if I was caught in a never-ending dream. Am I still dreaming, or do I see the legendary warriors? Oh, well, this guy's kind of weird. Are you sure he's the prince? This is not a dream. And shut the hell up. Then the time has come to pass the mystic key to its rightful master, as foretold by legend. I mean, must not be that mystic if you're just going to hand it out to people who may or may not be the, the magic... Crystal War, the, the crack heroes. <laughs> we're the we're just crack heroes. We just carry around giant crack rocks. It's it's not even like magic crystals. It's just straight drugs. We're just harboring crazy large amounts of drugs everywhere. Okay, so it says da 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 da. Give him the jolt tonic, mystic key. Okay, at this stage you can backtrack to numerous areas. First, go back to Cornelia and hit up the castle. Oh, this is fun. I hope it's. It says to get weapons and armor. Hopefully, it's not meaning weapons and armor that I already have. Like when it comes to quality wise. Because if they are stuff I already have, I mean, that's cool or whatever. At least I can just sell it for money. But it's like... I'm paralyzed, aren't I? I knew it. But... Are you going to... Okay, I thought he was going to hit me again with it. I'm not even going to lie. Knowing this game, I wouldn't be surprised if I got double hit with that. Because why wouldn't I be? You're going to hit me with it. I knew it! Man, I'm getting like... First, it was Joe. Well, Joe still gets pretty badly targeted in this. Like, J Joe literally gets treated like, like he gets hate crimed. I swear to God. But, like, I also. I only get hate crimed when it comes to, like, status effects. Like, anytime an enemy gives me a status effect, paralyze, poison, whatever. When I get a status effect, I'm practically being hate crimed with it. But Joe just gets hate crimed with actual attacking. Like they they actually straight up just target him. It is racially motivated, I swear. But it's so funny to just see him get beat down by literally everything. It's so funny. He's just like, all right, time for victory, and then he just gets his ass whooped by the most basic enemy, and it's so fucking funny. Oh, Joe, if you ever watch this, I'm sorry, man, but watching you get your ass beats the most hilarious thing I've ever seen in this game. I don't know why, just watching you lose at such a such an incredible rate. Is there any chests here? Okay, just wanted to make sure. Actually, hold on, is there like a... Oh, there is. I figured there'd probably be something up here. I just didn't know what. <laughs> it's a whole lot of nothing. That's what... Actually, what happens if I talk to this dude? Oh. That's kind of weak. I honestly expect him to say something like, Oh, I didn't think you'd find me up here. Like, just some random little side tidbit. Because, like, who would ever go over there? Like, you don't think about it. It's just such a side area that, like, you wouldn't expect to go there. So, like, I'm kind of... 
disappointed they didn't make him say anything interesting. I go, you caught me with my pants down. He's just taking a dump on the carpet or something. Like, can you just like stroke him off and <laughs> then just like you know just take a big old mouthful, you know? <laughs> anyway, I'm finding some stuff I've never heard of before, so this must be some high quality garbage. Steel pull, uh, except for that. Nitro powder. Well, it's a good thing I came back here because I need that. Apparently, I need I need that for a quest. An item required for progression. Yeah, literally, it's it states it's an item required for progression, but yet like they put it in such a position where it's like they're not gonna think you're gonna come get it. So let let's see what we got. Um, gear wise, of course, I'm gonna equip stuff for myself because I am the best. Okay, well, these are not good. <laughs> it's just not good. A helmet, steel, I already wore this. Wow, guess what? I didn't get any sort of gear upgrade. Isn't that crazy? What is the ACC? I feel like I should know what that is. Because, like, the EVA, that's evade. So, basically, you have your attack, your something, your defense, and then your evasion. What the hell is ACC? I feel like it probably tells me somewhere, but, like... Knowing these games, it's probably not like Elden Ring, like, in the sense of it's probably not super, like, in-depth. In the sense of, like, it, it's probably not that deep. Just in general of, like, what I have to do. It's, it's not that deep. Okay, well, all this crap is useless, so I basically learned, um, that... Getting this stuff is worthless. So I'm going to sell it all off for crack money. And then I'm going to probably go to the next thing. Where do I go? Uh, da -da 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 -da. I go to... Wait, go back to... I'm trying to read it. Go to the Temple of Chaos, two weapons and a nice item. I really wish they would tell me what was there. So I know if I'm wasting time. Elfheim Castle, get uh, weapons and cash. Uh, return to the Western Keep, Northwest, for a couple of weapons and an armor piece. Back to Mash Cave. I think that's supposed to say Marsh Cave. Uh, dungeon to get cash, weapon, and an armor piece. Just tell me what's there. That's all I want to know. Like, literally, just tell me what's in there. What kind of walkthrough is this? They don't explain what I get. They just explain that I get stuff, which is not helpful. I want to know if I'm wasting time. That you, you know that that's kind of needed to know information. If I'm like you know wasting my time selling garbage, I don't like. Am I wasting my time running back and getting those items, or is it actually worth it? Like these are things I want to know. Okay, hold on. I'm going to pause the episode, do some Google searches on what this stuff is before I actually bother trying to get it. And then, you know, I'm just, I'll, I'll, I'll be right back. All right, so I learned that basically all the weapons will do, like, 19 damage or less. So, literally, one of the weapons says it's good for thieves, but yet it's called, like, the Dragon Sword. But yet, it has the same damage rate and a lower crit rate. So, like, I'm just gonna kind of not do any of those, because clearly all that additional garbage is not worth it. Even the, like, extra items it was telling me about are just, like, stuff that cures, like, stone. It's like, I really don't need that, to be honest. I'm... Oh, wait. Hold on. Uh... I'm not even gonna lie. I literally just tried opening a map. I shit you not. I just tried opening the map. There is no map. Can I... I'm gonna open this fucking map in a new tab. I can't see. Okay, so we are heading to Mount Durger, I believe, before we head to Melman. So I need to go. Is there a dock? Hold on. Is there a dock? Okay, from what I can tell, there's one close, but there's not one, like, right there. So, you know, we're just going to work our way. 
But yeah, so apparently... So we're going to Mount Durger because I know this for a fact because when I played the game a long time ago, not when, of course, I actually beat it because I never did, but I remember them talking about Nitro Powder, so, like, even without the guide, I know to come here. Um, which is kind of nice because that means I remembered something for once. But, yeah, literally, we go to Mount Durger. They give... Um, I'm going to use a tent, by the way, right outside the mountain to just restore health. Um, since I forgot to sleep at the end, because I didn't think it mattered, but it might matter more than I think it will. Alright, go me. Um, so yeah, that's my plan. I'm going to go to Mount Durger, drop off the Nitro Powder. There's probably a chest or something there that I missed. It, I, it didn't say anything about Mount Durger on there. It did say something called Dwarf Cave, which is probably the same thing, so like, I, I don't know. Maybe I'm wasting my time anyways. But if I'm already heading there, I might as well, you know. Like, that's how I feel about it. If I'm heading back to an area... Like, let's say if I go back to Elfheim, there's chests there. But if I'm going back to it at some point, then I'll probably stop and hit up the chest while I'm there. Even though it's not going to matter because I don't need that gear specifically because it's bad. But that that's basically the roundabout plan. Um... Yeah, so, yeah, we're just gonna slowly trek our way down the mount. Is it pronounced Durgar? I, I'm, I'm pretty sure it is. Like, that makes sense to me, right? And while we're doing this fight, I'm gonna do a bit of reading just to make sure. Alright, here we go. Da -da 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 -da. Okay. Once you're done... There's some items you can grab here. Yeah, okay. Nitro powder, you big dead. Dwarf in the mountain can be given this item. He'll blast a hole in the wall. And the hole can be used to sail your ship. What? Okay. You'll find... Oh, so I have to use this to get to Melmond. So I guess there's no other way to go here. Or to go to Melmond. Alright, I mean, I'm fine with that. Whatever. I mean... Whatever garbage they came up with for progression back then. When did this game come out? It was like 94, wasn't it? It was 87, apparently. Well, when did this come out? It's got five copyright dates in the back here. I, I know 87 is probably when it was first made, because it's the earliest date. Uh, so I guess this version came around 2003, then? Funny enough, none of them came out in the 90s. Well, I mean, the one of the games probably did, but uh, I mean, like, none of... No Final Fantasy 1s came out in the 90s, is what I'm saying. Um... How close am I? Pretty close. I'm gonna tent just because Joe's about to get his ass whooped because of course he is. And at least since it uses it for all of us, I might as well. I'm not gonna worry about saving. I'll make a memo if I have to, but I'm not worried about saving right now. All right, onwards, son of a bitch. At least there's like no snakes or anything. Oh, this doesn't full restore? Well, the only one that didn't full restore is Joe. I mean, I'm fine with that. He didn't, he got, he got pretty good restore. He's missing like 50 HP, which is a lot more than I would like him to be missing, but it's fine. He's missing like a third of his health, but it, it's okay. I'm just going to be fine with that. I wish that this game would end already. Just kidding, I actually like this. I can't wait to get to the second one. Because I've only beat... Not really a whole lot of Final Fantasies now I think about it. Hey, cool, like 600 gil. Hey, cool, like almost 500 gil for you. I'm not going to read what he says. I, I really don't care that much about the... Move your ass! 
I don't care about the dialogue that much. You're a blacksmith. At a man's height. Okay. You can get that in... You can get that in every Final Fantasy game, I think, but it's in, like, different ways. And it's always, like, a super hard-to-get material. Like, it's literally, like, end-all-be-all -all material. Oh, so you were who I was supposed to talk to. Not even gonna lie, I didn't know who. I kind of wish I didn't click on you. I should just kept exploring rooms, but it's alright. Also, I should have gave him a voice, but didn't. Here we go. There. Now we can blast this rock to smithereens. Now move it. That wall explodes. We better get out of here. I decided to give him a very Brock voice. None of your fucking business. How about we call her fucking gratitude? <laughs> Brock, he's so cool. Uh -huh. Oh! <laughs> Just moans. Oh, look at this high fidelity cutscene! Dude, they didn't have this back in the SNES. They, they probably had something kind of like it, but not really. What's funny is if they were, if they would have put Final Fantasy 1 and 2 on separate discs, they, in like, released them as like a dual disc edition or something, they probably could have fit both these games on, like, they could have made them 3D. As well as they could have gave... Final Fantasy 3, a, uh, a, a, okay, see, this is something I complain about a lot to, to my friends and others, even though nobody cares, uh, except for me. The Worm Killer, that sounds cool. Mithril Knife, I know that's trash. The Helmet, Mithril, Mithril Mail, we are kind of rolling, baby. Okay, see, this one was worth it. Because there's actually, like, stuff in here. The grand... The grand home. A sword against dragons. Alright, that, that'd be cool if I knew where to fight dragons. Okay, it's slightly worse than what I got. But do I suffer? I'm not going to. Not yet, anyway. I will at some point, probably. The grand helm. Helm that protects the entire head. It better... Oh, oh, sick. Joe can take the worm killer. All right, Joe, this is going to be your time to shine. You might actually end up doing damage. That, that's something I, I really hope to find out. I, I hope Joe ends up doing like 600 damage now. Just something stupid high for no reason. He gets like a triple swing that does like 50 damage each for some, some unknown reason. Just this crazy damage. Anyway, what was I saying? Oh, yeah. It's the fact of, like, Final Fantasy 3, for some reason, is the only Final Fantasy game that didn't get put on the PS1. And that bothers me so much because, literally, they went 1 and 2. They put in, like, a, like in a, in a, on... They put both of them on a single disc, right? Now, literally, they could have released Final Fantasy 3 on its own disc or something and like released it as a dual disc. They could have put Final Fantasy 3 on its own disc and that just be it. And they just sell it as Final Fantasy 3. Like because they went 1 and 2 as the Origins collection, then they went 3 or then they went 4 5 6 7 8 9 and then Final Fantasy 10 on the PS2. They literally skip 3. And they I know that it's on the DS, so it's not just on you know, the original hardware. But what bothers me about it, right, is the fact that there was nothing stopping them from putting it on the PS1. There's still nothing stopping them from putting it on the PS1, besides the fact of nobody uses, or nobody buys a new PS1 anymore, because they're not just everywhere in stores like they used to be back in, like, the 90s. But, like, it's the thing, though, of just, like, why didn't you? I don't understand. What is so bad about Final Fantasy 3? Like, how much did it suck for apparently, like, you to just not 
remake it or remaster it, but yet you're willing to do it with every other game. And you know what's even funnier? Final Fantasy 3 is not only available on mobile as well, I'm pretty sure, but I th I'm, I'm pretty sure it's also available on like the, the damn PlayStation Store. I could play Final Fantasy 3 if I paid like the out the ass price for PlayStation Plus Premium so I can actually access the catalog of games since they took off PlayStation Now, which is all PS Plus is anymore where it was like 20 bucks a month to just play all the catalog games. I rather would do that, but all right. Instead, they had to make PS Plus more complicated than it needs to be. But, like, I just don't get it. I, I really don't. What I want somebody to do, or I hope somebody's done, and I will literally buy this. Like, I, I, I do not care. I don't care if it's an official or not. I want somebody to remake... Final Fantasy 3, but of course using, like, shit from, like, 1 and 2. So, you know, it still looks like it's, you know, made by Square. It, it Like, it's not just, you know, like, clearly it's a fan project kind of thing. Wow, Melmond is really small. Um, because I, I want a PS1 disc, like a physical PS1 disc with case and everything of Final Fantasy 3. Because it disappoints me and makes me so angry that it's the only one that I can't own without buying it for a completely different console. And you know how well that wouldn't sit on my wall? To have like all of them, to have like 1 and 2 on PS1, 3 for the SNES. Then 4 through 9 on the PS1. Like you know how much that doesn't set well with me? <laughs> like, and probably for most people. Like it's, it's not something you want to see. Not something you want to see. Wow, all of these weapons are actually worse than what I have. Oh, yeah, I meant to sell stuff to you while I was here, too. But I was too busy complaining about video games. But, like... But, yeah, it just bothers me, though. Like, it's Square. Come on, guys. I know that Square will never watch this video. And if they do, it'll probably be, like... Well, they'll probably still never watch this video. But I'll have probably played through, like, 90% of the Final Fantasy games before they start taking notice of me. And, like, whenever that happens, I'm gonna keep bringing it up at least once in every series. Jesus Christ, I didn't notice how much- how expensive that was. God damn. But, like, I just... I just want it. Like, is it that much to ask for? Is it really that much to ask for? Holy shit, why is it so expensive? What's it, dude? The 15 defense- 15 defense for $5,000? This is a scam! You're running a scam! What even did I buy? <laughs> I actually forgot. Oh, I bought these. Alright, Joe. Wait, that's considered armor? It honestly does so much better, though, to be honest. It's it's actually kind of sad. Um, okay. I'm gonna sell the stuff I have, which isn't gonna make me any money. It's actually gonna give me nothing. And that kind of makes me shed a tear of, uh, sympathy. But, that means I'm gonna have to grind again. So I need how much money? I need 45 dollars that I need fifty thousand dollars, and the reason for that is five thousand, so I can get Logan a silver armlet, and then forty-five thousand, so I can give myself some armor that would actually probably go hard. It's probably like double or triple what I'm currently wearing. That's probably why it's so OP, like price-wise. I need to talk to you, don't I? I'm Dr. Oon, but I'm sure you knew that already. What? You didn't? Impossible. Not even gonna lie, that dude's the only one that stands out among everybody else here. I honestly thought he was a I honestly thought he was a special NPC. I'm, I'm not even gonna lie. I thought he was special. He wasn't. He was just a random asshole. Okay, I'm... What's my HP sitting at? What's everybody's HP sitting at? Okay, I'm just gonna pop some potions on Joe. Why not? That's good enough. Okay. So. I should save, huh? 
I'm, I'm scared. Oh, I forgot to actually pull up. I was sitting on the map for the game because I didn't know where to go. Melmond. See, I hate that I'm just, like, literally stopping playing the game just to read. But it's the fact that I really don't know what to do. Um, Town of Melmond. Melmond Town Map. There's a lot of enemies in the area that can inflict petrification. Oh, no wonder I need shit that cures stone. Next up, Terra Cavern, Cavern of the Earth. Head west along the nearby coast, north the uh, I don't remember which direction west was, to reach the entrance of Terra Cavern. And then the next section of this walkthrough says Cavern of the Earth and the Vampire. Oh, I'm not going to enjoy this, am I? I fight a lich at some point, too. I kind of read ahead. The Terra Cavern 2. There's two of them, apparently. There, there just needed to be two. You know what? Just because of that, I'm going to make a save. You know, I feel... I feel like I'm going to perish within the next few moments. So, you know, I would really like to, you know... You're honestly cheaper than the last town. I'm going to be honest. Them inflation prices from having a big town do be do be hitting hard, though. Other cities are being horribly affected. The stocks are down. Man. Don't you guys love it when I do the ear rape mic bits? I know you guys do. That's why I keep doing them every time. Even though you guys probably hate them. You know? I, I believe you have a hate that you enjoy, so I just keep doing them anyways. I don't know where the cup to my drink went. Did I already save? I actually... I was going to say, I couldn't remember if I actually hit the button for it. Okay. This is a lot of work to be going through, and due to that, I'm going to end this episode here because I'm going to grind for money in the background. So thank you guys so much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Later.